Well, today off to Kettle Falls, USA. Just stopped at the post office, got another package. I think we've got to do a review video on this. Stay tuned for that. That looks like a good day. Pick up my package, uh, not my package, uh, my uh, person I'm giving a ride to, uh, at the Welcome Center, which is over there yonder. Okay, time to pick up my passenger. I'll let this truck leave and then I'll uh, pull in there. Looks like a good spot, the old Welcome Center. I got the dash cam on all the time. Oh, okay. It's all right. He might tell you to turn it off, but I don't. I have no. no I have no, no idea. idea. Especially not in the states, because they're all about the First Amendment. No, I got to remember to go to the right this time. Yeah, well, we don't, we don't have a trailer, so that's a good thing. Yeah, five miles an hour. Holy fuck! Are we gonna get there? stop sign, I guess. Uh, it's always so complicated for me. Oh, wait, do we get the wave? Hello, hello. Hello. Good, good. Going to Kettle Falls. All right. Well, go ahead and put it apart, shut her off, move your sunglasses. Okay. Turn it off. Does this window go down? Uh, yeah. Okay. Where's holding for you? Right here, Christina Lake. Christina Lake. Alright. What's the bags in the back seat if you're going to kettle? That's, That's me. I'm going on, I'm getting on the shuttle. All right. I'm gonna go visit my parents in Spokane and then down to Texas for work. Alright. So Steve, when's the last time I spoke to you? Oh it's been about uh, a month ago. Myself or somebody else? No, oh, I think it was you. We came down, I think we went in the wrong side. We, were, we had a trailer. Yeah, we were hauling a U-Haul. Oh, Sean, we were moving Sean. Yeah, yeah. Oh, really? Well, they can throw me straight into jail when I cross. They can do that. Well, yeah. Depends if you got a warrant out. Yeah, you yeah. Out? Nope. Okay. I, and I, last trouble I got in was traffic back in 2014. So almost 10 years in the clear. So have you ever used that shuttle before? Yeah, 22 oh, is bucks. It, is, it pretty, is it pretty good? Yes, it's reliable. It runs every day of the year except like Christmas and New Year's. Yeah, it's like. There's no way he could drive down back to 20 bucks. No. It's no, 20 no, no. bucks. No. It is. So they go right down all right the Right to the airport, down. although I'm, I'm not going to the airport. They stop at about three different locations in Spokane, and one is uh, the Greyhound thing there, and uh, and that's close to my where my parents' apartment is. So oh, okay. I get off one stop before the airport. Oh, but it, but it's really and they stop a few other places along the way you know if, you, if yeah. you're I should check into their time deal because like my wife and I just went down to a big theater play in Spokane well, and drive home at eleven o'clock at night and road yeah. like, it'd be nice just to kind of kick back mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. take a nap so. yeah for sure well, gentlemen have a good one okay yeah take care thank you thank, thank you officer oh yeah. Guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've met him a few times. Usually with Sven when Sven's with me. Sven knows him real good. Oh yeah. He even buys my burger sometimes, brings it back. Oh no kidding, eh? <laughs> that wasn't bad. Well, had a lot more questions at the border, but that's all right. It happens. They can't uh, let you through smoothly all the time. But we made it through, and about uh, half an hour down in into Colville Fuels. And I think we're about another half an hour to Kettle Falls, where I'm dropping off my friend. Normally, you know, it's a two-hour drive. This is right here. Wow. Normally, it's a two-hour drive, uh, and the, the shuttle with the stops is an extra hour. Kettle Falls Info Center. You don't have to drive. You can just read your phone. Read your phone. Nice, huh? Yeah, beautiful. Open. All right, man. Well, let me grab my stuff.
Okay, dropped off my buddy at the bus depot. I think he's heading down to uh, Spokane. And well, while I'm here, I'll do a little shopping. Groceries are, some groceries are a little cheaper than in Canada. Just like anything else though, you gotta look around because some things are not cheaper. Let's go to this Harvest Food. I heard it's a good, uh, good place. Watch out for that big truck. like Bud Light's on sale, but I don't like Bud Light. What else can we find? I'm gonna make some stew tonight. Maybe some of this brown sugar. Brown sugar. And some gravy. Gravy. Mix that into the stew. I might as well get a six pack. On the duty free, you bring the one, uh, one six pack back. Ah, beer. Beer, 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 beer. Let's try the old uh, kilt lifter. Kilt lifter. Sounds interesting. Not that I swing that way. Okay, get a few more items, uh, then I'm out of here. Meat prices are not bad. Stew meat. Uh, good old pork chops. And sausages. I'm not sure what the price of these ones are. I think they're like 350. American. Yeah, good enough. There's quite a few different foods that they don't have down there. I mean, up in Canada there. And I don't need the ice cream poison. Okay, that should do her. I'm out of here. Well, almost didn't uh, get my stuff. I wouldn't take any of my debit cards. And they don't take Canadian cash. And my visa, I hardly ever use the pin. So on the third pin try, I got it. So, back on the road we go. Hey, uh, before I head back, I got some champ chicken. Never had this before. Champ chicken. Sandwiches. Must be something like you get from 7-Eleven, I guess. Well, looky there. Pickles, chicken, bun. Pretty basic. But there's also some sauce that comes with it. Champ's uh, dipping sauce. So I guess the idea is to dip your sandwich in the sauce. Never had this before. See if I can do it without making a mess. Uh, let's 
try the uh, the ranch dressing first. Mmm. Good. Chicken and ranch dressing always goes good. Now, let's try some, uh, oh, spilled some shit. Ah. All over my seat. I'm going to try some ranch. Not ranch. Uh, this is um, buffalo sauce. Mmm. I think that's even better than the ranch. I got two burgers, which is probably too much, but I don't want to have to declare it at the border. So I'll just eat it now. And you don't have to declare it if it's in your stomach, right? Uh, yeah, it's in my stomach. I'm kind of bringing it across. I mean, do you want, if he, if he gets uh, pretty sticky on it, I'll say, well, you want me to go inside there, Mr. Border Guard, and you want me to leave it for you? I can leave it for you, but right now it's in my stomach. Okay. Enjoy this nice um, chicken burger or whatever you want to call it, sandwich, I guess. And then, uh, then head her back. And I'm kind of like a squirrel. I keep um, sidetracking myself. Think of something else. Boom, sidetracked. Columbia River and Lake Roosevelt. in Colville Fuels again. Okay, about 20 minutes from the border.
Hello, hello. Uh, Christina Lake here. About an hour and a half. I drove a friend down to the bus depot in Kettle Falls, or the bus stop. Okay. This is what I bought for food. What is it? Just some groceries. Okay. Six pack of beer. Any other alcohol or tobacco coming back? Nope. What's the back of your truck set up like your tools and everything back there? Yeah, a little bit. Uh, just junk. Okay. Some tools, yeah. Not for business or? No. Okay. Okay, you're all set. Okay, thank you. Thanks. And there we go, back into Canada. I don't know why, but I always feel a little relieved when I get back into Canada. Not that I've done anything wrong, but you know. Okay, catch you on the next one.